Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam Milton Tutorials and Toolpath series. This is our another one exercise of Mastercam Milton module and in this exercise we will learn a lot of things and we will learn a very special kind of Milton machine as well as we will learn about the Mastercam one of the most dynamic strategy when we are talking about the Milton module and that strategy is known as a pin turn, pinch turn. So I would like to show you that how we can create that one very special strategy like that is called as a pinch turn so in this exercise we learn all about this and because I would like to also told you the pinch turn is under the turning to strategy and this strategy is not we covered in our normal module in means turning module that's available especially on in only Milton module and this strategy is a very helping and very good strategy when we are talking about the cycle time when we are talking about the make a programming with the help of upper stream and lower stream at the same time so we will learn all about these things and multiple new things we will learn in this video so if you are new on our channel if you are new on this exercise if you are new on a Milton video first I would like to suggest you go and start to learn from the first video all about the Milton and if you are a person who have a good knowledge of lathe, who have a good knowledge of milling. So I would like to suggest you start to learning the Milton because it's helped you a lot in growing your career. So let we have to start on that what we will cover in this video. So basically this exercise we will cover in three to four parts. In the first exercise we will show you that how we can create a simulation for that one component. How my tool path will be work. So that's a very very important when we are talking about the Milton. So always keep in mind if you want to learn the Milton. So first you have to learn about that how different kind of tool path will be working together. So that's a really important. So in the first video we show you that how we can make different kind of tool path and how it is running on a particular or a proper machine where the tools will came to cutting the part and there are different kind of strategies we will use. And one of the special thing that I would like to told you to cutting that one component the machine which we are choosing that's a very very special Milton machine and this machine is known as a TT uh, what is the meaning of TT it means a double turret machine where we have a double turret a one turret we have a upper side and one turret we have a lower side so that's a really special kind of machine so if you have these kind of machine so that's exercise really for you and uh, when you are want to make a tool path with the help of upper turret as well as the lower turret and both of these turret can be rotated in the z axis or I we can say in z direction so these are the both turret which are available at the upper side as well as the lower side and in this part we have a two spindle with the left side left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle so now don't wasting over both without wasting a single nut let we have to play this video and make a simulation to cut with the help of different tool path on a very special uh, Milton machine. So before we starting to create uh, running the two simulation of that one component, we would like to reduce our feed and let's play. So basically in a Milton we are using to cut that component facing operation with the help of lower turret and once I make a facing operation, so that's gentlemen, this is called the pinch turning. When we are talking about the pinch turn, it means the pincher, pinch turn is a very special strategy which we are going to perform with the help of upper turret and lower turret both working together at the same time. It means what is the benefit of pinch turn with when we are working on a pinch turn on a machine so that time we can take a large amount of depth of cut at the same time. So that's a really good benefit that we get when we are make a pinch turn toolpath on a machine so have you as you can see here that's a really amazing strategy with the help of to working together with the help of upper turret or we can say upper stream as well as the lower stream at the same time so as you can see here this is now completing my pinch turn operation all the roughing operation all the finishing operation after completing this we make a groove which is like in a radius that's we are successfully created with the help of a dynamic milling and dynamic milling is a very unique strategy that's we can say and as you can see here how it is going to perform how my tool is going to be working so all these things you can check properly all these things you can watch properly and that's the best benefit when we are talking about the mill time so once we completed this as you can see here my lower turret and upper turret both are working together very closely 
once my lower turret were completed it start to work on upper turret once my upper turret were completely it starting to work with the lower turret and now the next option is we have to make the part handling what is the meaning of the part handling part handling means we have to make our part handling from the left side turret to the right side and now have a look once i completed the part handling now both of my turret has came to the on the reference position first the upper turret on then the lower turret and once it came on the reference position as you can see there these are the very special kind of turret which we, with the help of this turret we can mount the tool on the both side in the left hand side as well as the right hand side so as you can see here now i would like to close the machine housing and i want to told you a little detail about this machine so this is a very special machine as you can see here with the help of different kind of strategy and different kind of tool path we successfully create a, this tool a model as per the needed and i would like to told you a little bit about this machine that is a very special kind of machine where we can mount the tool on the both of side when we want to make a tool path for the left hand turret or left sorry a left hand spindle so that time we can mount the over tool on this one side and when we want to make a tool path for the right hand side in that case or in that condition we can mount over tool in this direction uh, that's a really good benefit when we are working with this kind of a very special machine so i hope you guys get understanding about all these things that how we can make tool path for this kind of machine so this is exercise number 5th where we are talking about a milton machine that is a double turret double spindle kind of machine now i would like to show you that how we can create a tool path before we working on or we learning on the different these tool path i would like to show you that how we can make a job setup for that one component for the job setup i would like to show you the sim now as you can see here this is my model file and now i would like to show you that how we can make a job setup for that one component for the job setup we have to came in a machine once we click on a machine we have to came in a milton once we click on a milton the machine which we are choosing that is known as a tt what is the meaning of tt it means we have a machine a fanuc generic milton machine and that is machine is known as double turret machine so we have to click on tt once i click on this option so what is happening now a new window is going to be blink right at here and once my new window is going to blink on hit this point we have to came in this and we want to make the modification for the internal portion of my jaw or internal portion of my chuck so internal hole of my work piece is large in size so that's why i make the size is 130 mm if you want to make and changes in any modification we can click and modify these things and for this one side we can also modify the internal diameter value is 52 we can make it 80 now the next step is we have to make a job setup so we have to came in a setup the initial position of my work piece is left hand spindle so i choose a left hand spindle in the method of part holding as you already learned about that that we are going to choose the single piece of stock pick off if you don't have understand or don't have idea about that how why we are choosing this so you can you must have to start to learn or start to watching our first second third fourth these kind of sequence videos so as you can see here i just define the sick single piece of stock pick up once i define that one we have to came in a part a left hand spindle part geometry i have to select the model files when i select the model file i have to open turn it on create turn profile once i create turn profile i have to define some extra margin in the od as well as the front face as well as the back face so i have to define the front face and back face one on mm extra mm so all these things we already learned and discuss about it now we have to define the value of stick out what is the meaning of stick out stick out means we have to define a value where we, our work piece is going to be holded during the machining time so i have to choose the nearest and i have to just define this position once i define that one position after that we have to define the right hand spindle as well as the pick off value so i have to say pick off value just click on it and just define this point and say okay So guys I hope you guys get understanding about that how we can create a job setup for that one component as well as we learn that all about the uh, simulations and the working process of that very special kind of machine 
So in the next video, we will like to show you that how we can create a tool path for the left hand spindle as well as the right hand spindle and how we can create a very unique and special tool path that is known as a pinch turn. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video with a lot of new learning. If you guys have any issue or if you have any problem during the practice, you can go and comment on our comment section. We are trying to best help as we can.